What is up, everybody? I am super excited today because we're going to be giving you a tour of our barn dominium home. Uh, this has been a long time in the making, and we are super excited. So come on in with me as we tour this new home. As we enter here, uh, we enter into a great room. And so this room will be, as you can see, a kitchen. Uh, we'll have a dining area as well as a uh, living room area that all looks out over our patio and, and the pool. Um, this room is uh, about 40 by 40, uh, and we've got a, a nice large island for entertaining. Um, we plan to have uh, definitely some large gatherings in this space, uh, which is why the, the room is so large. Um, so yeah, let's uh, start going through some of the different uh, areas of, of the, the great room. So we start here with the kitchen. Um, we decided to go with the uh, black cabinets with the champagne poles. Uh, and of course everything is, is kind of soft clothes. Um, and then we've got uh, a Cambria Dovestone uh, countertop and a uh, Wolf 60 inch range over here. Uh, double oven, six burners, and then it's got the, the griddle here on top. Um, and this kitchen uh, looks out again over the uh, kind of living area. It's a really open, open living concept here. Um, and then we've got the sink here. The sink is maybe a little bit unique. We went ahead and did a, I think it's a 43 inch um, stainless steel tub um, so if you have big cutting boards and things like that really easy to clean those off big pots and pans etc uh, and then we've got the, the garbage disposal a couple of soap dispensers lotion dispenser and then we've got the the glass rinser here so put your glass on top of there push it down and it'll rinse it out um, in addition we've got uh, the dishwasher and a ice maker uh, this is a Scotsman CU50 ice maker you can see it makes Nice clear uh, ice. Some of them aren't shaped perfectly, but they're supposed to be shaped more or less like that top hat ice. Um, I can't remember how many pounds, but it's CU50. Uh, and then over here, we've got a Z Line microwave. This is a convection oven as well. So it's got the, the turntable and the grates. And so it'll do things like uh, you know, standard microwave, but also do kind of mini oven type work as well. Um, and then our fridge. As we go over here, we enter into the pantry. And so this pantry uh, kind of wraps around. You can see we've got some shelving in here and then wrap around and we've got a fridge and a freezer pair. Uh, picked these up from Best Buy, got a pretty good deal on them. Um, but you can see lots of storage in the pantry, more or less floor to ceiling shelving in, in this room. Um, so should have lots of space for dry goods and, and whatnot and then Standard fridges, uh, nothing, nothing too special with the fridge, but um, it's nice to get a matching pair uh, for fridge and freezer. And yeah, so we exit back out to the kitchen, uh, and that kind of is the, the great room. A uh, couple other things to point out here. Um, the flooring in this entire space is uh, floor and decor, uh, 
new core performance flooring. Um, and so it's got this titanium coating. It has a nice texture to it. Um, really feels and looks like wood, but it has uh, the firmness of a tile. Um, and so it's, and it's very, very scratch resistant. Um, so we did a lot of different uh, flooring comparisons from Floret to a bunch of other brands. And really the new core flooring um, really was a, a great choice. Um, over here, we've got an automatic dog door. So the dogs will have a little RFID collar. And as they approach the door, it'll open and close. This way, we don't have to leave our doors open uh, because there are lots of wildlife around here. And we want to make sure that pets could get it in and out, but other things could not get in. Uh, and then we made this little chandelier. It's kind of cool. Uh, you can see it's got uh, a bunch of fun bulbs that we picked up from Home Depot. Uh, they're all like filament, uh, but they're actually, I think, LED material. Um, that kind of gives some nice warmth to the space since everything is so kind of gray and black and white in here. Um, we wanted some of those warmer tones in, in the champagne and the, the gold. You can see the, the backsplash as well has those nice gold accents. Um, really tries to bring a little bit of color into the space. And then we also have uh, these pendants, um, which again, kind of an amber color on the pendants. For all of the uh, can lighting in the room, uh, we've got 16 cans. These are uh, Halo 8-inch uh, surface mount cans, so they're not really a can. I guess they're just a surface mount LED light. Um, but those uh, give a lot of brightness to the room, even though you can see, even with the lights off, we get a ton of natural light from all the windows. So it's working out pretty well so far. All right, so now let's take a trip down the hallway. Uh, so first door here on our right is a guest bathroom. Uh, nothing too fancy here, just a cabinet and toilet and a chandelier or uh, this light, lighting fixture. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump past this first bedroom and we're gonna jump into the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. Um, you can see a uh, good size door, that's a three foot by eight foot door. Um, and this room is about 20 by 20. So pretty good size uh, for, you know, a little reading area, a bed, um, some other you know, bookshelf, things like that. And then the master, of course, has an ensuite bathroom. Uh, this bathroom has a double vanity. So you can see kind of his and hers sinks. Um, this vanity is kind of a, a dark blue, almost navy, but with a green tone to it. Um, and then we've got the uh, double jacuzzi tub, uh, which I look forward to taking advantage of quite often uh, after working out here at the ranch. Uh, it'll be really nice to sit down and relax in, in the bathtub. And then we've got uh, the shower over here as well. And you can see there's no glass or anything, no curtains, um, and, and the whole floor in the bathroom is the same pebble flooring. Um, we may eventually put glass in here, but for now uh, there is none. And of course, as you take a shower, you can look out over the property uh, and uh, enjoy, enjoy some of the nature as you enjoy your shower. And over here we have the closet. So we've got uh, a nice mirror here. Hi. Um, so this is going to be a little vanity. So we'll have a little kind of desk vanity here. Um, and then this big uh, mirror with the, the backlight. Um, picked that up from a place called Mirror and Marble. Um, pretty good deal on it. Uh, nice looking, nice looking mirror. Uh, and then you see we've got um, kind of galley style closet uh, where we've got um, you know shelves and then pull out drawers. So we've got like these shoe things. Um, so these were kind of a modification uh, from an IKEA system. So actually, this closet is fully custom. I built it all using mostly just three-quarter inch birch plywood and some uh, one by two trim. Uh, and then I sized some of the cubbies so that we could use uh, IKEA uh, pullouts and drawers in some of these spaces to just give us that extra uh, level of, of kind of convenience. And again, this one as well. So IKEA pullout drawers into a kind of a custom cabinet. And then down here, uh, they're not installed yet, but we'll have IKEA uh, drawers in there as well. So they're Kind of six drawers each um, and those will go down there and then we'll have hanging rods here on the top on both of these sides and then over here we'll have hanging rods as well um, but these ones are kind of floor to ceiling uh, space so for the dresses and uh, pants and things like that we'll have a lot more space and then we can we can still put shoes and other things down there at the bottom and then kind of the same here on the other side so 
um, full floor to ceiling um, kind of clothes rods. And then we do have some storage up there at the top as well for additional uh, odds and ends. And then there's our little toilet cubby. And now we exit the bathroom. If you guys have any questions, by the way, post them in the comments down below and uh, we'll try to get, get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so now let's go into the guest uh, bedroom. So this is uh, when we have folks come stay for you know a longer period of time. We'll have this space for them. Um, also a pretty good size room, I think 14 by 18 or something to that extent. Um, has an ensuite bath as well uh, with a double vanity. Um, give give people some space to kind of stretch out and then um, a nice big walk-in shower. Um, really like what we did with the soap cubbies here um, where we got the kind of shampoo slot, the soap slot, and then miscellaneous other slots. So um, should have lots of, of space for, for keeping all the things that we need uh, conveniently accessible. And then we've got a nice window there uh, so that we can get, get some of the steam out. All right. So now uh, this bedroom also has a, a walk-in closet. Um, I don't know, this thing will probably be empty a lot of the time, but the closet is here. Um, double rods on that side, a dress rod, double rods, and then we do have some shelving over here as well. So kind of a simple little closet, but it should be um, nice and convenient for folks that come and stay. Uh, and then in the hallway, we have this uh, kind of linen closet, um, nine total uh, sets of, of doors in here, and then um, just some, some shelving in there. Um, so should have lots of space for towels and sheets and all that kind of stuff, home goods, et cetera. And here in the laundry room, we have uh, not one, but two sets of washers and dryers. Why? Because I don't have to do the laundry. So we've got that, wife wanted it, we said, yes, ma'am. Um, so we got that. Uh, these are just from Samsung. Um, I, don't know, I think I picked them up at Home Depot. Uh, but yeah, just kind of traditional washer and dryer. Stacked them. Got a little stacking kit from Amazon um, and put those together. So um, then we also have uh, this big mirror here. So similar to what we have in uh, the master bedroom, we have this large uh, mirror with backlight in the laundry room, as well as this cool. Um, kind of mud, mud room area where we'll have hooks and other things and cubbies for everybody to store all of their odds and ends as they come in uh, from the garage, which enters from right there. So I have lots of space for making sure that muddy boots aren't going all the way through the house. As we come around the corner here, we have uh, a bathroom. This will be for these three bedrooms back here. Um, this bathroom again has uh, a double vanity, um, obviously no mirror yet. Uh, that's that's coming um, double vanity uh, toilet and then and again same shower pattern as what you saw in that other uh, other bathroom so uh, use a nice kind of white tile from floor and decor um, and the all black route I think it turned out really sharp and then across the hall over here we have the other two bedrooms so we've got um, good size uh, all of them have two windows um, this one you can tell is probably going to be a girl's room, right? That's Ayla's pink wall, and then uh, we got the good size closets over here. So you can see uh, lots of, of space for hanging, hanging clothes and things, uh, and then some shelving there as well. So um, we're not actually going to put doors on these closets. These are just going to have a curtain that will go over the top, um, and then we've got uh, hookups up there. We're going to actually mount the TVs up above the closets. Um, so that's, that was kind of the girl's idea, and so we're running with it. We'll see how it works out. I think uh, they're, gonna, they're really going to enjoy it. In this last bedroom over here, uh, pretty much the same uh, layout, the two windows, uh, and then the same kind of closet design. So pretty, pretty much a mirror image. Uh, you know, when you've got two daughters, you can't make one bigger than the other because then you'd be in trouble. So they're pretty much exactly the same uh, in that space. So that's the main part of the house. Uh, next, I'm going to take you into the shop. But we're actually going to go into the shop from the outside because you got to see those double doors out there. Uh, and then we'll also show you the casita, which is a space uh, for kind of my mom and then an office out there as well. So uh, stay tuned and we'll hit that space next. All right, so we're outside here uh, and we've got uh, the shop and we've got the two uh, big uh, 12 by 14 RV doors. So we're going to go ahead and open those up. And you can hear how quiet they are. They've got these nice LiftMaster lifts on them. Take a peek inside. 
can see up there, lift master, and they just kind of glide on back. So pretty, pretty quiet for these, uh, these really big doors. Uh, so now we are in the shop area. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess because we've got uh, some stuff that's already started to move its way in here. Um, but the shop uh, area on the, the concrete is about 1,600 square feet. Um, and then we've got another 800 square feet of loft storage area up there. And under that loft, we've got a kind of a casita and an office down here. So uh, let's go ahead and take a little uh, jaunt over here to the casita and I'll show you around in there. All right, so here's the casita. And uh, this is a decent sized room. Um, lots of good natural light in here as well. You see the same flooring we put in the rest of the house. Uh, same ceiling fan as well. Uh, and then we use the six inch uh, can lights in here um, like we did in the rest of the house. Uh, but this room, uh, I think it's about uh, 20 by 12 or so. So plenty of space for you know, couch, TV, maybe a fridge, things like that. Um, and then in here we did uh, a Mr. Cool mini split. So we have one of these uh, in here as well as the office. They run on the same condenser outside. So um, it's at the 71 right now and it feels amazing because it is really hot outside, um, but it's doing a really good job. So um, those, are, those are pretty, pretty convenient um, and relatively uh, inexpensive. Then we've got the bathroom here. Uh, so this bathroom, uh, pretty similar to all the other bathrooms, except for it's a single vanity. Um, so this space is intended for a single occupancy. Uh, same toilet, um, similar tile to what we used in um, the hall bath, as well as the, the guest ensuite. Um, we we'll use white grout in here instead of black. Um, and then uh, we did this uh, the shower. This shower is using a, a product called Palisade tile. It's actually kind of like a PVC tile. Um, it just glues to the wall and they're interlocking, kind of like uh, laminate flooring. Um, so I decided to try that this time. Um, I've done tile before and it's not too bad, but I figured I'd try this and see if it made my life a little easier. And I'd say it's probably about the same as regular tile. Um, yes, you don't have to worry about doing the, all the thin set and mortar on the back, um, but you end up doing adhesive and having to interlock. Um, and so I'd say that uh, it's certainly easier to cut than tile, um, but it is pretty much the same amount of work. Um, and then finishing the edges has its own uh, little nuances. Anyway, so now we are in uh, another room. Um, this may be used as a bedroom. Um, it doesn't have a window, so technically it's not a bedroom. Um, it's got a ladder here, sorry about that. But um, it's uh, also got the ceiling fan and a couple of lights. So um, this room, when you close the door and turn off the lights, let's just have a little fun. Um, this one, you can see a door now. See, it's pretty much pitch black in here. Uh, so yeah. That'll be nice for, for those uh, nocturnal sleepers that really want to go to sleep and not have any light. Uh, this room will be perfect for that. So uh, anyway, so that's the casita. Uh, next up on the agenda is to go take a peek into uh, the office over there. So uh, let's get into it. All right, and here's my office. Um, it's not very glamorous or very large, but uh, it's going to do the job. So this room is about, uh, I think, 8 by 12, 8 by 14. Um, so enough space for a desk, and I've got again that mini split air conditioning in here. Um, we should keep it nice and cool. And then I'll have my desk here, and uh, I've got this beautiful window to look out to what will eventually be hopefully a garden uh, out there, which is just dirt right now, but uh, it'll allow me to have lots of natural light during the day while I'm working and uh, enjoy the outdoors. So, uh, and yeah, that thing in the corner is a one of the I-beams that I'm eventually going to put some probably bookshelves and things over that uh, to, to hide that. But, uh, you know, the joys of building a steel barn medium. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and move on and uh, I'm going to show you the patio. All right, so let's check it out. All right, now we're back in the great room and I'm actually going to take you outside to the pool. So let's take a look. Um, we've got this large uh, door. It's about 30 feet. Uh, it's from a company called Panoramic Doors. Uh, and so these doors open up on the ends here, open this guy out, and every single one of these panels uh, collapses. So it's kind of like an accordion, but every panel is actually completely independent. So if you look, I can move this panel, right, and it is completely independent of all the other panels. So it's kind of a cool, cool system um, where we can have some panels open, some closed, move some around, uh, and, and kind of have a, a fun indoor-outdoor kind of experience with the, with the doors. 
Um, we will have a screen on that as well eventually, but uh, that hasn't been installed yet. All right, so this is the, the patio. Um, pretty good size space right now. We've got just some outdoor furniture, um, a little fire pit. Uh, but you see it's got a, got a nice little uh, gable to it and had kind of a big uh, steel gable put on. Uh, we got some lights hung up right now, but we'll eventually do something a little bit more formal there. Um, this patio uh, up to this edge here is about 20 by 40. Um, and we'll eventually have a barbecue island over here on this side. Um, that's not in yet, but that's a project for me to work on after we get moved in. Uh, and then we had this pool put in as well. Um, you can see that it's got the, the tanning ledge over here on this side. So we'll have some lounge chairs kind of set up over there. We can just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy the, the water without having to be in the water necessarily. Uh, and then we've got, uh, on this side, we've got the spa. So a simple little spa, uh, I don't know, six, eight people, something like that could fit in there. Uh, and then you see the little waterfall that was coming off of there. Walk around here and give you a better, better angle at it. So we just got this nice little trickling waterfall uh, that kind of comes down out of the spa into the main pool area. So still a little bit of finishing work to do out here, um, but really looking forward to this, especially on a hot day like today. I think it's probably already 90 degrees. It's uh, pretty early in the morning. Um, we're really looking forward to being able to spend lots of time in the pool during the summer and, and spring months. Yeah, just a quick look. Here's the kind of the stretch of the house going back towards the shop area and all those windows that you saw uh, from the inside. So again, hopefully you've enjoyed this tour. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. I'm happy to have to give you any pointers, tell you things to avoid if you're going to go and do a build on your own uh, or if you're going to hire somebody to do it, help give you some tips and tricks to make sure you get things done uh, the way you need them uh, on time and, and with high quality. So anyway, hope you, you enjoyed. Stay tuned. Check out other episodes uh, as we move in here and start to do a lot more here at the Strader Ranch. Thanks.